So, okay, people, here we are at a closer look at the USS Enterprise 1701B, captained by John Harriman and as seen in the movie Star Trek Generations. Okay, that's the one that um, got attacked by the Nexus while trying to save a bunch of Elorians, um, which include Soren as well as Guinan. And uh, of course, that's a ship on which everyone presumed that. Um, Captain Kirk died, I was sorry, Admiral Kirk died, but uh, it was actually taken into the Nexus. So the NCC 1701B Excelsior class, uh, it's basically a refit of the USS Excelsior, captained by uh, Hikaru Sulu. And um, I'll just take this off for a bit. This part that kind of looks more like it's a boat or a yacht, this is different from the Excelsior. But it basically is the XLC class. So just a refit of the XLC class, and that is the USS Enterprise B. Okay, here's the view from the side. Um, Longston 2293, 467 meters, 32 decks, 502 crew complement, type 8 phaser arrays, proton torpedo, sorry, photon torpedoes, what am I saying? Photon torpedo launchers, captained by John Harriman. Seen only in the movie Generations. Um, just checking, see if there's any other point. Uh, was engulfed by the fiery tendrils of energy emanating from the Nexus. They were so powerful that they ripped straight through the ship's shields and almost tore the Enterprise B apart. Yep. Um, the thing that I uh, have a problem with this particular ship is that it looks beautiful on screen. I've seen some really good. Uh, photo shots of it, I mean, some, not photo shots, but some really good images of it as well. But each of the models that I've seen of this particular ship, it doesn't do justice at all. And I think it's a lot to do with the fact that you need to put a lot of detail on this kind of ship to make it, like, you know, look as cool as it is on screen. The problem with uh, companies like Eagle Moss and some others is that, you know, they Warp nestles are too long, so therefore they have, in order to make the ship of a reasonable size, they have to keep it smaller. The rest of it smaller as well. So in scale is rather long, but you know, it ends up looking too small. There is hardly any detailing on it. That looks, uh, yeah. But I, I don't really blame them because I know f to keep this, the ships at this size, they have to um, curtail a lot of detail. There's a lot of ass taking on the, on the saucer section. Here's a look from the side. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. Um, what else? Uh, it's not my. F it's probably my least favorite enterprise. Mm, yeah, probably yeah. Uh, especially because of the way it looks like this. I have some wonderful shots of it on my computer, which I'll probably show it some other time. Um, it does look good on it. Uh, if I can recall, I've seen the Excelsior in one movie. I have seen the Excelsior class. I think it's the Lakota, USS Lakota, in uh, in the double uh, sorry in one of the episodes of Deep Space Nine. And then of course this one. So I'm not sure if I've seen it anywhere else. But yeah, some of the models that the large scale models of this ship it does look pretty cool. But you know, I wish this they could have done a better job if the model was say like you know about this size. Of course, mm, can't help it, but this brings me to probably the last Enterprise ship that I'm going to buy. Uh, this uh, I'm I'm not really sure. They, I think they're going to come out with the A, and perhaps there's a there's voicing out for the J. Uh, I'm not really sure if they're going to bring out any other Enterprises. There's the refit D, which I may not buy. Uh, certainly not going to buy it anytime now, but I may buy it much less in the future. There's a lot of other ships that I really do want to buy, but as far as I'm concerned, my uh, USS Enterprises that we normally see on screen. Uh, in the um, what do you call it in the original timeline is complete so i will do a another video of all the enterprises together so that's it guys take care bye